Hi, Cece. Thank you so much for coming back to me today. I'm really Hi. excited about this. So we had a really, sh um, you know, we talked a lot about in our last interview. And what I want to focus on today is really why isogenics and why now is like the optimal time to jump in during this, this time. Absolutely. So, you know, it's so funny. So there are really two reasons that so many people are saying yes to isogenics right now. At the end of the day, you know, I, you know, we know isogenics is a superfood nutrition store that because they don't spend money on advertising, they pay their customers to refer, the, refer groceries to other people, right? At the end of the day, that's all we are. But here's, here's the reason that so many people are starting with us right now. Because given what's gone on in our world over the last you know, few weeks, the two things that people have really, truly struggled with were one, getting groceries delivered to their door that helps boost their immune system, by the way, but then also having a way to earn money from home and literally what our company does is combine those two things that people need the absolute most right now. Mm -hmm. You know, and so people are, you know, people that, that, you know, have been watching me for years are now like, okay, Cece, let, let's have that conversation about that thing again. And that would be one of me, right? <laughs> I mean, so, so that's the reason why I really, I think it's so important for have us on because like the bottom line is my challenge has been how I bridge my bill my bridge between wealth yes. and wellness, okay? Yeah. So I built a multi-million dollar companies um, in the early 2008, 9, 10, 11. And then I've also always had this piece, yes, and you as well. And I've always had this piece of me that is the wellness expert, just because I, fitness has been a huge thing, including my book, Living Sexy Fit, which I am relaunching. So this is why I reached out to Cece right now and want to really start growing my isogenics business. So what I want anyone to know is, listen, I am not a multi-level person, not ever in my life. And in fact, when I had my gold business, people would say, so, you know, what part of franchise are you from? And I'm like, no, right? So the fact that I'm here and I'm talking to you guys and bringing Cece on is huge for me because I believe in the product and I know it's shifted and changed my life. And I look forward to actually, I'm ramping up um, my products next week and I'm looking forward to actually showing people the difference of what my body can look. Even a person who's pretty fit I'm looking forward to sharing that with you, you guys as well. So yeah, that's it. Let me talk about that bridge though, because you said something really, really important, the bridge between wealth and wellness. Mm -hmm. So Kate, you probably remember this, but when I owned a $5 million business, I was the same size as I was as a senior in high school, right? Mm -hmm. When I owned a $1 million business, I was about the same weight I was after the freshman 15 in college. <laughs> when I was $2 million in debt, I was 60 pounds overweight. Mm. So for me, what shows up in my bank account always shows up on my body. And I found that to be so true, like that wealth and wellness were inextricably linked. Right. So and studies show it, right? Yeah. Like this is the bottom line. This isn't just like pie in the sky. The, the studies show that your wealth and your wellness are directly linked. So why wouldn't we right now choose to climb that bridge and yeah. to build wealth and take advantage of opportunity that is right here before you? Yes, absolutely. And I mean, that, I, was, I was like you. I used to say I'm a network marketing snob, right? Like I was a traditional business owner. Mm -hmm. But here's what I also knew. Again, I knew that because the results were so visible and... It, so that my friends were calling me, asking me, Cece, what are you doing? You look amazing. Like my people were calling me. So the results were visible. But I knew, listen, I was going to use this food for the rest of my life, no matter what, because of how I felt on the inside. Right. But here was the kicker. Like I'm a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. And when I really took my ego out and looked at this business model, and really understood, listen, you know, documentation beats conversation every day. So I looked at the documentation mm. of what this company had produced 
And it was a no brainer. It was a mm -hmm. way for me. I had been coaching people in business for years and it was finally, finally a way for me to coach people to start a business to go from the left-hand side of the cash flow quadrant to the right-hand side of the cash flow quadrant in a way that didn't require people to have large investments of money. Like we had to when we started. Right. Oh, absolutely. And a huge level of risk. So and you know, weighing out, right. So we're weighing out the risk and the benefit. This is like an easy way for people who are maybe never understood or, or wanted to touch their toe in entrepreneurship. And so when we're looking at the millions of people that are on, you know, taking unemployment benefits, this is a incredibly rich time. And I just want to have you finish up with one thing before we go, because I know you're super busy. And that is, tell me about emotional freedom, because this is truly the icing on the cake for this conversation. Yeah, no, it is. It's so when I, when I look to partner with people, like I, I don't, I won't work with anybody. Like I literally won't because, because of this concept that I have called emotional freedom, which for me says I partner with people that I like, know, and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Right. And so Love for that. me, say that again. I partner <laughs> with people that I like, I know, and I enjoy. Like, <laughs> let, Love that. So because we got it. Listen, because we're, we, listen, we always travel together. Like my team and I, we go, we earn trips together. We go on conferences together. We take vacations together. Why would you ever want to do that with people you didn't like or know or enjoy? Love it. So it, it's for me, like I get to have this, I get to build this amazing community of people, about 16,000 of us right now, that truly want to support each other on our journeys mm -hmm. towards wealth, towards wellness, and they're people that I like, know, and enjoy. And right, so and those are, and you're right. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up because, you know, I think that's a lesson that we're learning through the pandemic is really like, who are we surrounding ourselves with? And are these the, the people that are lifting us up and helping us across that bridge to both wealth and wellness? So I just want to finish with that. I wanted to bring on Cece really quick. And I will also provide my links to my Isogenics uh, website and also um, a link to also my calendar so that you can um, have a 15 minute with, or 30 minute call with me to get you um, some more information and answer any of your questions that you may have. So thank you so much. And Cece, thanks again for being here. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right. See you soon, guys. I'll see you guys. Listen, I will see you. Join us. Join us on this journey to create the best health and to create the wealth that you want in your life. Your family deserves a financial safety net. And I'm excited to be able to support you to create just that. All right. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. And hi, Cece. Hey, Kate. So, I love being here with you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> I know. I mean, this is like, like we were just laughing going, is this like literally like work? Right. Um, so that's basically why I'm doing these little shorter videos because I want people to understand that their life, their work, their passion can all be the same thing. Yes. No matter what, no matter what, no matter what time, right? That's what emotional freedom is. That's, that's what freedom is all about. Right, right. Yeah. And it's not hinged on your relationships necessarily as far as people giving you approval or also your financial situation because we always can make change in this moment to embrace both our health and our wealth. So, um, mm -mm. so what I want to ask you to talk a little bit about because every time I'm on the phone or chatting with Cece, she's like nougats galore. And the conversation that I wanted to ask you, or um, a little bit of a refrain on this, is what is the difference in um, having what I would call sales conversations, but you have a different way around that, the difference between having powerful conversations with people in regards to being committed, but not attached. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind sharing? Absolutely. So people ask me all the time about, you know, sales, right? Like, am I in sales? What about sales? And, and I've been in sales for a very long time, but for me, sales means something altogether different. Oh, sorry about that. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so for me, I don't sell people stuff. I literally have conversations with people. 
I hear what they're saying, but then I listen for what they're praying for. I listen to that thing that keeps them up at night. I listen for their, their heart's deepest desires, mm. right? Yeah, their longing. They're because longing. I think that, yes, yeah, because I think people miss that, that they're just listening to people's words and even their gut is telling, telling them what they're really saying. But how do we put words and emotion to other yeah. people's experience? Yeah. Absolutely. And, and when, cause, and when I'm listening to that, you know, as I, as I listen to that, as I hear for that deeply, when I, if I hear something that they're praying for, that they're longing for, they're keeping them up at night. And I know that I have a solution for that. I'm going to offer them my solution and my support. Mm -hmm. If my solution isn't for them, I just offer them my prayers, right? And so that's what I mean between the difference of com being committed and detached, right? Um, I am 100% committed to offering my solutions. Where I hear it will solve a problem, I'm 100% committed to offering my solutions to people because mm -hmm. I know they work, whatever mm -hmm. they are. If I'm involved in it, trust and believe it will work, right? Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it and I believe you. And I think that if you come with that level of conviction, mm -hmm. it's just having powerful conversations with people and adding value and yeah. up-leveling together. Because yes. we want to rise as the ships. Absolutely. I can't imagine anything more exciting. It's true. And, but, and that's the commitment, people. But here's what's most important for us mm -hmm. as the person having this enrollment or sales or whatever you want to call it, this conversation. Right. The most important thing for us to be is detached, right? So while we're committed to offering our solution, we must be detached from whether the person say yes, says yes, no, never, next week, maybe. Yeah. We can't care about that. That has nothing to do with us. Right. That has to do with them and their, where they are in their lives, whether they're open at this time, right? Everybody... Even though somebody's praying for something, they still may not think you're the answer to that prayer. And it's okay. Right. You and know? so that's an evolving process. And I think that that's why I want, I want people to know that is um, that are listening or viewing is that it's, it's a challenge to think, oh my gosh, what are they thinking? I don't, you know, do they have the money? That's your jibber jabber. That's not their jibber jabber. Right. Amen. Amen. Oh my right. God. So let me, I, I have to tell you this fun story. And even I still to this day will find myself in a jibber jabber, right? So there was this woman I met, Kate, five years ago at a bank. She was amazing, like amazing. It was even before I was building my business. And I was like, oh my God, she's somebody I would just love to work with. Like, I'd love to partner with her. Like, she was amazing. It took me until yesterday <laughs> to give her a call and I finally just got into this place I was like I'm calling her right now right. and I called her and we had this beautiful conversation and I told her I was like okay listen I need to let you know I need to apologize to you because I thought this about you for five years I never told you I said but I was in my head thinking is she gonna think I'm crazy what is she gonna say about mm -hmm. me I said even though I knew my heart was pure my heart just said that you'd be amazing but my head wouldn't allow me to pick up the phone and she said oh my god she said you have just blessed my life because I have thought about you for the last five years right like and it was just crazy and she said right. you know it was she was just talking about what a value it was for her just to hear my voice and to hear the things that I had to say about her. People don't have people pouring into them. They don't. And I think that's the thing that if, if you come from a place of love and come from a place of wanting to add value, then this whole conversation is pretty much like easy. So why is it that we get all messed up? And I think that that's the most wonderful way to look at it. Be committed to your passion and no matter what it is. I mean, here we're talking about growing our business with Isogenics, but be committed to your passion and to living your best life and growing your own wealth and wellness. And on the other end of it, don't become so attached to what they're thinking. So be committed to you. And this goes through anything, right, Cece? doesn't matter if you're talking about your intimate relationships, growing a business, talking to your children, working with your best friends, and you're even in your spirituality. 
holding true what's true for you, living a life of integrity, and then, you know, building that bridge towards wealth and wellness. It's what it's all about. That's it. Right. Absolutely. And why, and why do you describe, um, why is it that wealth is, um, what does it provide you personally? Mm-hmm. You know what? So I make this beautiful distinction between choices and decisions. Okay. Choices, I can choose a red car or a blue car. Decisions, oh, I decide to take a spaceship. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> choices, I want an apple. You can have an apple, you can have an orange. Decision says, I decide to, you know, have creme brulee. I don't know, whatever it is, right? But what, what wealth does for me is it walks me down that continuum of not just being able to choose between what's there, but being able to decide what brings me joy, what makes me happy, what I want to do, what feels good to me. Mm. You know, one of the things that my husband and I did, we, we had a magical month for our, for our wedding and our honeymoons. We honeymooned like four different places. It was amazing. And one of the things that we decided to do is we would wake up and say, baby, what will bring us joy today? Mm. You know, and, and I'm going to tell you, it was pure and utter magic. And because we had created a life where we get to decide, it was like magic. Like I, that's the only thing I can say. It was just complete and utter magic. And we really look to bring that into our lives each and every day. You know, so what I'm building in my life is a life where I get to decide. Right. And that's not saying that it's been easy, but just, Right. But just knowing that it's a possibility and, and really all I want you all that are listening or viewing is that understand that it's possible, right? This goes right back to my favorite Les Brown. (laughs) It's possible. It's that mustard seed of hope that today is your day to build that wealth and that wellness that you not only desire, but you deserve. Deserve. Absolutely. Mm, Yes. Okay. So if anyone has any questions, please tag in. My link to my Isagenics is below. And that also, if you're interested in booking a call through Calendly, through my calendar, that is also below. So just make today your day. Cece is right here behind me, supporting me and lifting up. So let's rise together and um, take good care. And thank you for being a part, Cece. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye. (laughs)